So today I've decided I am going to continue lightening the slide by cutting through slits in the front of the slide. And as you can see, it's on my frame again. What I'm going to do is use my ruler again and once again mark the angle that I want to follow. What I don't want is to cut the slide anywhere near the lugs. And as you can see right now, I would basically clear it. It will probably be better if, you, if I mark on this side of the ruler. So, just to be completely safe and not mess anything up. And this time I'm not marking all the way down, I'm marking kind of up a little. That's that's going to be my line. There we go. Let's verify that I'm in the right sp spot. Yep, on both sides. The other thing I'm going to do is make sure that I respect or follow the same distance or distances. Because basically what I don't want to do is file into the rail. For this job I've selected a different uh, file simply because uh, the large file I used here, 3 16 never actually went in all the way. So it doesn't have the full um, diameter uh, cut into this. So if I use the same file, these openings will be larger, I, I assume. And actually that may be okay, but uh, uh, I kind of want to basically use a file that, that fits into these openings. Uh, full diameter basically <clears throat> to kind of keep them uniform or looking about the same width as as the cuts in the back and we'll start cutting Right, as you can see, I have broken through. Obviously all of that will need to be cleaned up, but for now this is a really good start. Now I identified my angle and now I can continue going pretty much in the same fashion. So once again I'm going to space my my cut by eye Seems like I'm pretty much uh, aligned. So the only thing to, to do here is to keep going. And I am removing a lot of material, so I hope that uh, 
this will lighten the slide enough to where it cycles very uh, fast and the gun is reliable. Here's how they look uh, when you're looking at them uh, from the side. Not bad. Um, here's a view of the entire slide. Alright, I've just cut the other side of the um, ports or slits or whatever you want to call them. Um, came out pretty good. Um, before I take it out of the, of the jig and the vise, what I want to do is send them and the way I'm going to send them is use a, a paint mixing stick from Home Depot. I'm just going to round one edge of it so I have the flat going up as I'm sending and uh, I'll be sending it so that the the walls I've created are all perfectly straight um, going away from the slide perpendicular to the slide as opposed to right now because they're kind of wavy. I've uh, rounded my stick a bit. Uh, uh, so I wrap sandpaper around the stick and then I try to feed it in. It takes a few a few times to kind of loosen up the opening. Alright, <clears throat> so this is what I ended up with. I kind of polished it on top a little bit, but uh, just because I wanted to get some of my scribe lines off. Um, obviously it needs to go through a much more thorough cleanup, but here you can see what I ended up with. Looks pretty good, I think. So here comes the slide. It's uh, It's got no firing pin, no ejector, um, nothing inside it, so here comes the weight, 12 and, a half, 12 and a half ounces, which is a pretty decent reduction in weight. I think uh, the original was 13 and 5 eighths, 